Hi all, look at you and your new Nissan Leaf. Aren't you clever? If you want to charge at home, this video is for you. EVs are like magic when you can wake up every single day to a charged battery. If you bought the car to save money, then this is often the cheapest way. And if you set a charge timer, it massively lowers your impact on the environment here in New Zealand. But we'll come to that in another video. We are going to use my home setup to show you the three most common ways to charge at home, with a focus on the lowest cost options, as only the really big battery leaf benefit from anything much more than this. If you bought your car from Drive EV, you will have been supplied with the most up-to-date and reliable cable in the boot. We call these EVSE, or Electric Vehicle Service Equipment. Some folks call these a charging cable or a granny leaf, I'm going to use the term EVSE because it's technically correct and I just don't want to get crucified in the comments. You can call it whatever you like though. Now your EVSE is water resistant so don't worry too much about leaving it in the rain. Your car's also quite happy charging in a downpour. So long as the socket it's plugged into is waterproof or sheltered from the rain itself. We don't recommend the leaving the box of the EVSE on the ground because um, they're quite easy to run over as it turns out. The most popular EVSE is an 8 amp version that plugs into your normal wall socket. Now here in New Zealand our plugs can handle 10 amps so there's quite a bit of headroom in there for safety. A lot of older garages may have quite tired wiring by now so it's worth getting it checked out by a qualified electrician if you're not sure but it draws less than a standard panel heater. Now the 8 amp or 3 pin version will offer about 1.8 kilowatts to the car so that's going to add about 9 to 12 uh, kilometres of range per hour, depending on how you drive. Most people find that that's plenty. And it's really convenient to find places to plug in at work or hotels, campsites or friends' houses. If you've got your EVSC in your boot and you need a little extra when you're going about or if you're staying overnight especially. We do also offer a 16 amp version that plugs into your caravan socket. These offer say twice as much power, so between 18 and 24 kilometres of range per hour. This sounds like a much better option until you go and stay at the batch or overnight with some friends and you find that you can't plug in because they don't always have that socket. It's not the most common socket that you'll find in New Zealand. You can of course buy a second EVSE but these do cost upwards of $450. That's a couple of years charging for most folks. You can also install a wall unit, a bit like this one from Tesla. This is a tethered unit, but we recommend one with removable cables so you can use them with any electric car. If I want to charge my Leaf on this, I can't because the plugs are not compatible. And most Leafs won't charge any faster on a dedicated wall unit, as they can only accept about half what is offered, making these pretty poor value for most Leafs. Home charging is super easy. You open up the nose, You plug your EVSE into the wall. If it has a display or lights, they will light up. You plug the socket into the smaller port on the front of the car. If the car beeps, it's accepted the charger and the three blue lights on the dashboard will start to flash. If they don't, then make sure your EVSE is switched on at the wall and reseat the plug in the car. Now, the lights on the dashboard can tell you a few things at a glance, such as your state of charge in thirds or if the charge timer is programmed. We'll cover charge timers in a separate video, but if you see this, and you want to charge right now, then there is a defeat button in the car. It's down by your steering wheel on the right hand side and it looks a little bit like a clock with a tail. That's it. Go and make yourself a cuppa, get some snacks, wave your car good night. Let it sleep until you're ready to go in the morning. Now if you feel the urge to check in on it, that's normal and it's probably a sign that you made a really good decision. And that's the story on charging your leaf at home. 